Hello everyone, I'm Mary Rose Corrigan, Public Health Specialist for the City of Dubuque with a May 12, 2020 COVID-19 update from the Dubuque County Public Health Incident Management Team. Six new cases were added to Dubuque County's total today. As of May 12, Dubuque County has 203 positive COVID-19 cases. That's a rate of 210 per 100,000 population. No additional deaths were reported, which leaves a total of seven deaths in Dubuque County. Also, 2,328 people have been tested in Dubuque County, and about 9% of the cases tested have been positive. 16 individuals, or about 8% of COVID-19 cases, are currently hospitalized, and 69 people, or about 34% of Dubuque County positive cases, have recovered to date. The state added 539 positive cases today for a total of 12,373. The majority of those cases were people that were tested at a work site in Nebraska a week or so ago, and the cases are just being counted now. I am very sorry to report 18 additional deaths in Iowa for a total of 289 Iowans. In all, there have been 81,288 individuals tested, and one in 242, or 16% of Iowans tested, have been positive. The 18 to 40-year-old age group continues to be the highest number of positive cases category, with 42%. Currently, 385 cases are hospitalized in the state. 5,618, or 42% of Iowans, have recovered. Today, Governor Reynolds announced that the state of Iowa is receiving the new FDA Emergency Youth Authorized Antiviral Drug, Remdesivir, for treating severely compromised and hospitalized COVID-19 patients. Iowa received a minimal supply of Remdesivir from the federal government. Although the early trials of remdesivir are promising, results show that it accelerates recovery or shortens the duration of the illness by about 30%. The drug is administered intravenously and will only be used on severely ill hospitalized patients at this time. This is similar to the antiviral drugs we use for influenza. They don't cure the illness, but they shorten the duration or severity of the illness. Along with describing these results in his testimony to Senate leaders today, Dr. Fauci also explained that vaccine development is well underway, but again, under the best circumstances, won't be ready for public use until well into next year. The governor also announced she is still analyzing statewide COVID-19 data, planned testing, and hospitalization readiness in order to plan for modifications to the proclamations that will expire on May 15, 2020. So no new information was stated on restrictions being lifted in Dubuque or the other two 22 counties where more restrictive mitigation measures are in place. And speaking of reentry, as work sites plan for employees returning to work and the essential workers continue to work, Many are utilizing temperature screening as a tool to determine the health of their workers and as an indicator of possible, possible COVID-19 infection. Remember, checking temperatures is just one tool to evaluate the COVID-19 illness. We still have to look at the other symptoms of cough and shortness of breath, along with chills, muscle pain, sore throat, new loss of taste or smell, in addition to being aware of potential exposure. Thanks for tuning in today. And the spring weather is improving. I encourage everyone to get outside and enjoy the beautiful blooming trees and flowers while getting some physical activity. And let's all continue to be safe, be smart, when in doubt, don't go out. And remember, we're all in this together.